So yeah, I might post this video up before I do the Spear LT build, but I might not. Um, in this nondescript package here, I have probably what every GBV user either wants or maybe be trying to get hold of at the moment. But when I saw a video of one of these, I thought I had to get one. But getting them, you put it into Google and it links you to a website which looks super suspicious and scam, you know, the scam alert goes off in the back of your mind. But I've actually picked up one of these smoke suppressors. So what this does here is like a suppressor, a tracer, but as a BB passes through it, you've got a little um, sort of, it's almost like a vape inside, like a little smoke generator. And what it does, it does a little puff of smoke out the barrel end, but then as you stop firing, you get like a bit of a trail of smoke coming out the barrel, much like you would on a real, the real counterpart. And uh, I ordered one. I didn't want the bog standard, um, just round suppressor style. So I picked it up. So you get the suppressor, you get a bottle of the fluid, and you get a charging cable USB type C. Um, so this is the one I got. Now, what I will say, which is very apparent when you pick these up, they're very chinese -ium. These are predominantly made for gel blasters, I believe. But you can fit them to airsoft rifles as well. And let's take this apart and I'll show you what's going on. So this is the, the style I went for, just because I thought it looked a little bit more um, interesting than just a, a, a black cylinder. But if you've ever had a cheap Chinese suppressor from China, this feels exactly the same. And these aren't cheap either. It's made of the most Chinese metal you can imagine. Really, uh, I suppose the body isn't too bad. But yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not good at all. Now, taking this off, when I first took out the box just to check everything was okay, I took the front end cap off and you'll see there's holes for where the, the flash LEDs go through. What I would recommend is unscrewing it from the back because then as you pop this in there, you can line up the LEDs like that. Otherwise, when you're trying to turn the front cap on, it hides the LEDs like this. And here is the innards. So you've very much got like a tracer. You've got little sensors and lights. And I'm pretty sure they'll light up tracer BBs as well, but don't quote me on that. That's not what I got it for. I got it for the flash, the smoke, you know, a bit more immersive bit more immersion you can get from your, your guns so you got a battery pack on the bottom it's a 680 milliamp battery and the way you turn it on you just flip a switch like that um, let's just quickly try it so nothing happens so far let's see if we put this into the gun now you might be able to do different modes with this I'm not sure so Let's put a bit of the juice in, just so we don't burn the cotton, which obviously this uses. It's very much, if you're familiar with vapes nowadays, this is very much, I think, the same technology. So you fill it up there like that, put the little plug back in, and then the, the cotton or whatever's inside will soak up that juice. And then you've got a little heating element, which will just heat that up and produce the vapor or the smoke so just like when you're using like e-cigarettes and stuff you want to give it enough time for that to soak through otherwise when you use it you're going to burn the cotton that's on the inside here and it does look like you've got little screws here so you could perhaps take this off and replace the cotton maybe i'm not too sure these things aren't cheap for what they are for how they're manufactured um you're sort of talking between the 80 and 100 pound mark at least and again, I stress, you go to these websites, which you'll see up on Google, and you'll be like, I'm no, there's no way I'm buying something from there. So we'll turn it off while that soaks in. Let's have a look at what's going on here on the, the manual, which none of it I understand. So, yeah. It's got one switch. There's nothing really else we can do. I can't understand any of that. Maybe the translator on my phone will do it. But you flip that on, and it turns on. I can't imagine there's anything else to it. So let's slide this in. We'll line the LEDs up at the front there. It's 
got a little piece of foam which I imagine just buffs out the empty space. Doesn't do a good job, so we might find another type of washer to do that. Let's see. In fact, let's take that off first. I might be going backwards and forwards, sorry guys. Because I kind of want to see it work. So have we got a BB? So it did flash. I don't know if you saw the uh, the fan turn on there. Maybe it has to fall dead in the center. Screwdriver. Doesn't seem to set it off at all. So let's try again. I wonder if we can do it that way. Can we drop it in? Yep, so you get a bit of a flash. Maybe it has to pass right in the center for it to work. I'm not doing a good job here. I know you're screaming saying just put it on a gun. The little fan turns on. I'm not seeing any smoke just yet. Maybe it does need to be charged. That could also be a thing. But I'll tell you what, let's get it on a gun. Um, slide this in. I think that's had enough time to soak in there. I don't know how long you need to soak it for because the manual is not in English. That would be a good thing for them to change. So what gun can we put it on? In fact, you know what? Because we've, uh, in fact I can't do it on that because the barrel's slightly sticking out. What can we use? We can use an MWS. I have here my Mark 18, which actually, um, conveniently doesn't have anything on the end, so we'll thread this on. 14 mil counterclockwise, hopefully. The thread is so sloppy. <laughs> what you might actually want to do with this, if you buy one, is put the innards into a different suppressor. Right, it's on and it's secured down. They look rubbish, but you know we can get around that if need be. Let's see if we could put some rounds into this mag. So we've just got some point threes in the mag. I think it's got gas in it. We'll find out together. So empty. I'm just going to put a few rounds into this box. See what happens. see that so the the LEDs flash how am I gonna be able to show you this let me figure out I'm gonna be able to show you this right I've turned the main light off so it's gonna be dark these are some trace around so we'll see if those light up as well we'll see if you can see what's going on If you could see that smoke there how cool is that so it's only subtle it's not like it's pouring smoke out the end of the barrel but I don't know if you can see it I've got a torch anywhere of course empty GBB is probably not the uh, most efficient way to show this off let's put some more BBs in the barrel in the magazine even and I didn't buy this I didn't buy it to light tracer BBs up I don't use tracer BBs because I think it's the number one way to uh, get yourself seen on the field what I wanted it for was the flash with the smoke and then it to like trickle smoke out the end because it just look makes it look real the gas there I don't know if you can see the smoke. It's got small propane in the mag. I will do a uh, proper video demonstration of this tracer or suppressor, whatever you want to call it. I just wanted to show you on camera what it's all about because no one seems to be reviewing this stuff in a way that makes sense. 
Right, here we go. Let's do a bit of full auto. See, it smokes out the end. How cool is that? So let's get the light back on. So a Chinesium product, you can see how floppy the threads are. You know, they're gonna be mass produced for the sake of making them, you know, for pennies and then selling them for a lot. The unit inside does shake about, so especially if you're using this on GBV, what I would recommend is thread locking the crap out of that front end to keep it on. Access it from the back, but I'll probably find some kind of like rubber washer or something to put on the back there to tighten it. So as you tighten this down, it squashes it in. The fluid does seem, they do say that the fluid will last quite a while. Now the stuff that you're getting in, you're getting a bottle of it in the box. They don't sell it separately on the websites that I got this from. Um, which is just a gel blaster website in, in China. So the stuff that you buy, I think you can just use like fog machine stuff, which I think is like the same stuff or similar to what they put in most vapes nowadays. Um, you could use vape juice if you wanted to. If you got like a nice strawberry scent on the field, people will be, you'll be slaying your enemies looking cool as AF, but uh, then giving the nice sweet smell of strawberry as you go past them. But I think what I will plan to do is fit this into something that isn't this because this is garbage. Um, is it worth the money? Yeah, it's a cool little gizmo, you know, if you've got a bit of money to spare. And even if you're not using it in games and you want to mess about around the house or in the garden and just have it look cool. Um, I'm not sure how well it comes across on camera. I'll have to get some shots later on firing it from like a front perspective. But the flash works, the flash shoots out as it does a puff of the um, the smoke or the, the vapor. It's not really smoke, is it? And then you do get that little trickle out the end when you start firing, which is probably one of the main reasons I bought it. So do I recommend these for the money? Yeah, it's a cool little novelty. Um, you're not getting like the insane craftsmanship as you're getting like the, the Ace Tech and the other um, companies that do tracers. Uh, is it Ace Tech? What was the company? Ace Tech, yeah. So you're not getting the build quality that you would on those. But none of those companies, and I, I, what I'll, I'm going to do a future prediction now. I bet you any money that Ace Tech and the other tracer makers start doing this because if they don't they're they're they're, they're basically they're idiots because if they start getting this into a mass-produced airsoft thing on the market they will just sell an absolute ton now they do the flash modules like the bifrost and other bits and pieces and those sell like crazy imagine having that where it shoots vapor out the front now they did have a suppressor years and years and years ago that did something like this and it was like a smoke cap suppressor or something and you had to buy the little cap the smoke caps um, to replace them so being able to just chuck either vape juice or the the non nicotine blended stuff which is just what well, they're using fog machines which is really really cheap especially with how little this uses i can't imagine there's a lot of power running through that coil will we see a flurry of people in the vape industry start putting mad coil builds on this to make it start chucking out loads of smoke who knows the reason I bought this is because I'm predominantly using gas blowbacks now, and I think on a gas blowback, even the the flash tracers, tracers look good when you get a bit of gas spitting out the barrel. So this is really cool. I don't like the aesthetics that they sell them as. This looks like crap. The other ones they did on there look like crap as well. What I will probably do is try and find a suppressor that I like and just converting it to run this and getting rid of this body because I really don't, really don't like it whatsoever. Um, we will need something long though because that's how much space you require for the length of the unit. Maybe we could shorten it, who knows. So thanks for tuning in this video. If you've seen all these smoke suppressors on various YouTubers videos or airsoft YouTubers videos but they never tell you where to get it from, I'm also not going to tell you where to get it from but it takes 30 seconds on Google just to put in, I think I put in Airwolf smoke suppressor or something like that 
Google will find you gel blaster websites. They look suspicious. I think the one I bought it from was like LCKJ or something like that. They sell, you know, prop toy, you know, bits and bobs, and they sell gel blasters. But the problem, the, the thing is with gel blaster companies now is they're getting innovative. The gel blaster companies are more innovative than all the other airsoft electric manufacturers out there. They're just doing cool outside the box stuff. And I think the airsoft industry needs to follow suit. So Ace Tech, other companies, if you're listening, you need to pick up one of these. You need to reverse engineer that shit. You need to make it better because this thing is like it's made out of paper mache. Get it on the market. Get them selling. We'll all, we all want one, but make the suppressors look cool. Don't make them look like this. I'm gonna wrap the video up there. Thanks for tuning in. For me and Bench, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.